And nearly a quarter of parents in Scotland plan to take extra work or avoid taking time off over the festive period to cover the cost of Christmas. According to the charity Action for Children, almost three quarters of working parents are concerned about soaring energy bills and prices in shops this winter. Joining us now is Imran Hussein, Director of Policy and Campaigns at Action for Children, the group behind the study. Thank you so much for joining us. So how are parents planning on spending that, that period of time? So for our annual sort of secret Santa campaign, we interviewed uh, through polling, uh, we asked uh, about 2,500 working parents and 1,000 children about this Christmas. And the message we got back is, look, Christmas is meant to be a happy time, particularly a time for families, but about a third across the UK of working parents are telling us that this Christmas they'll be looking to do extra hours or, st or not to take time off just to make ends meet. And, and that means, of course, many of, them, um, high, um, many of them will be missing key family moments, not being around on Christmas morning, not being around to, uh, to open um, Christmas gifts, not being around for school nativity plays. So it's, it's a real tough time for working families this Christmas. One of the heartbreaking aspects of this, you, you asked, uh, asked children about their parents' biggest fear over Christmas. 63% thought their parents would be worried about making Christmas a happy time. Yeah, it's really sad. I mean, and, and that's one of the things about living on a low income. You know, parents do everything they can to shield their children from the effects of it. You know, you know as, as we found in our survey, parents are telling us, that they'll skip meals, they'll have cereal rather than a proper, proper food for, uh, for dinner. But inevitably, children pick up on these things and children will pick up on the fact that parents are going to be worried about, about making this Christmas special. And of course, you know, the families we work with, they're realistic. You know, they're not going out uh, uh, and, uh, you know, and, and spending lots of money. That they are, going, uh, they are kind of looking at uh, how much they have they're making decisions about having a smaller Christmas. So parents typically not giving gifts, not having parties, not even traveling to family and friends, maybe which they've done in previous years. And we're also seeing parents uh, give their children essentials, basics as gifts. So things like school shoes, school books are being given as gifts uh, this Christmas. So it's a real tough time uh, for families. Parents are doing their best, and, but children inevitably pick up on this. You've talked about quite a lot of the practical things there. What can parents do when they're in that financial situation to best isolate their children from sort of the emotional repercussions of it? Well, as, as, as I said, parents are trying to do everything they can, but it's really hard. So obviously the most immediate thing I'd I suggest is if families are struggling on a sort of day-to-day -day basis about money, get some independent advice. Go to your citizen's advice bureau or independent advice centre. Action for Children, we have a free online chat uh, facility where you can talk to a parenting coach. Um, so that's parent-talk.org.uk uh, and you can get help there. There's also information advice there. But inevitably, it's just a really tough time and the solutions are partly around the help people can get around the benefit advice. I think people can, can also, if, you know, if you're in a position to help others, then go to our website, iamsecretsanta.org.uk, and see how you can help. But inevitably, the numbers we're talking about, there's a limit to what charities can do. And so you need government to kind of step in and, uh, and take the right action. So at the moment, child poverty in this country is rising. Uh, it's high and it's rising. So we do need government to look at the help it gives families, particularly working families. I mean, three quarters of uh, low-income children in this country live in working families. Imran, are you getting the sense that families are at financial and perhaps almost psychological breaking point after two years? It, it's been an incredibly tough time for families the last couple of years. And I think, you're, you know, I think we do feel that families are, are at breaking point. Um, for many families, last Christmas was their first Christmas on Universal Credit. This Christmas, those families on universal credit will find that many of them will be worse off compared to last Christmas. And three quarters of them will be worse off after uh, um, um, the budget we had at the end of October. So it's, it's a tough time. Um, we also know it's not just financial pressures. We know that for children, I mean, their, whole life, you know, their lives have been massively disrupted. Uh, their schooling has been disrupted. Um, and so we're really worried about growing anxiety, mental health worries, 
uh, um, of children. So it is a tough time. Families are breaking point, but we do know that there is help out there that families can get, and there are things the government can do that can, that can make a massive difference. What would some of those suggestions be? Well, look, I mean, fundamentally, like the government does not have a child poverty strategy that's working. Child poverty is high and it's rising. So we do know that the increase in universal credit of £20 made a big difference for families. It was a real lifeline. Um, that was taken away and the government put in some extra help in, uh, uh, for, uh, for working families. But overall, three quarters of families are worse off. So that help was welcome, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough to make up for the, the big hit uh to people's incomes the government was 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 making so there are definitely things the government knows that make a difference that it can do but there are also things in the longer term like uh for example reducing the cost of childcare doing that will make a huge difference uh to working families um and, and of course there are things like uh poverty pay as well and and looking at how we can uh, get the price of housing down, because that also has a huge impact on families. So there are things the government can do in the, in the short term, and there are things in the long term that the government has to look at.